Now I, I'm on with the mask, face mask. Just to show you my real face. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's 7.57 out here, three minutes yeah. to go. I think we should start right now. Yeah. And there will be more incomers maybe later. And we're gonna record out all of the video and also we're gonna upload to the YouTube channel as well, so don't worry. We're gonna send to you all the links if you like. And just let us know if you if you want that, alright? Okay, let's let's do this. Yeah. All right, let's start yeah. now. Okay. 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 Hello, everyone, and really appreciate to see you guys here joining the our last online meeting together. And last time we had a lab tour showing our testing equipment, including dimensional precision, uh, optical, electrical safety, and environmental uh, testing, testing machines. Today, we will discuss our newly developed technology about uh, COB, which is chip on board, and Ebony technology. We will talk about the difference between the SMD and COB, and the difference about the front chip COB and the flip chip COB kind of different things, uh, different COV. And we will show you a demo panel of our Air TV V1 COB plus Avenue 1.25 millimeter paper pitch. And also we are extremely happy and excited to invite Mr. Chong, our founder and CEO of Create LED, the young leader in the five pixel pitch LED in this case. Hi Mr. Chong. Hi. Okay, so let's let's start uh, sharing our presentation to you guys. Can everyone see that? Good there we go. So it's about the COB introduction and analysis. The first question we're gonna ask is what is COB? So COB is short for is short for chip on board, which means it, it is a newly developed LED packaging technology, and it is different from the traditional. What we call traditional is SMB and DIP or DLP. Uh, it's different from that kind of surface mounting technology in packaging. It actually integrates the LED chips into the PCB instead of welding them to the PCB. It's like packages them together, like directly on the board. Who can tell me the advantage of a chip on, chip on board? <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, so I think it's quite a smart, smart way to do that. Um, easier Let's to put it on. Something. Easier to put it on. More functioning. Yeah. Feature one. How about feature two? Uh, easier to be maintained. I guess that's the, another way, yeah? Mm -hmm. Less power consumption uh, change. Yes. Yeah, if yes. We under less, under testing, testing, less. Tell the difference between the SMD and the COB. Like the SMD, they have a holding all the uh, components together, including the wire, the LED chip, epoxy, uh, and 
beneath that is there, there's a solar panel out there. We, we call it like paths, right? Like four foot out there to connect them, develop them, soldering them into the, the PCB board. But when we were looking at the COB, the chip on board, there is nothing, there is no cup, there is no uh, soldering paste. It's only the PCB and the LED chip with the, with the, with the packet. So uh, you mean you mean the reliability or what? What do you mean? You mean the low cost or energy efficiency? What, what, I, what I'm trying to say is there are last components. There will be no like solar thing to generate like more heat. So when you need to mm. repair an LED, does is it is it just as easy to repair as it is with SMD? Yeah, for for the question. First, we should think about why the AD is cause failure, you know. What's the reason for the AD failure? You know, sometimes it's moisture, sometimes it's soldering, sometimes maybe other reasons, you know, um, by ESD. You know? Yeah. So we, why we use a flip chip? Actually, it's, uh, we use a flip chip. Flip chip is uh, no wires for the body. Yeah, yeah. So, for chip on board. The advantage I can say, yeah, we use much less components. We don't use the SMD the lead frame. We use a flip chip directly soldering by uh, for the PCB. So the advantage, we, first we can get it high brightness. The flip chip is a big size. We use a five by ten mil to to get high brightness to increase the contrast. As you know, for a screen, yeah, contrast is the key feature to improve the image quality. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Second, we use the totally ebony to cover the flip chip, to cover the SMD, to make the really more stable. The third, the, the flip chip with pad, the pad size is much bigger than the wire pad. So, for chip on board, this technology for the AOD is much, much less better. Much, much less better. So, so, so the COB with Ebony, Ebony will reduce some of that brightness, um, but increase contrast. Um, so, what would you say then, Cheng, is the overall percentage increase on brightness? On a, I don't know, a 1.2 mil um, pixel pitch display, would you say there's an increase of 10% or or more in terms of brightness? Let, let me give you an example. If we, if we like the SMD 1.25 like mil, you can only get like 600 to 800 nits. Yeah. Right. Six to hundred. Yeah. But if you are doing uh, the cheap and board option, you can make the brightness up to. 1500 uh, even more or even more yeah so that's uh, that's that's a hundred percent increase yeah even more yeah. yeah yeah why we produce the chip on board because we want to make uh, the expanded application of uh, our screen for example if 1.2 can reach 1500 so can use for windows screen yeah like uh, for retail Facing yeah. outside, installing inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the uh, flip chip size is much bigger than SMD chip size, but much bigger. And the pad is uh, easy to transfer the heat, so it's much less heat. But my, yeah. some of you might thinking, what is frown chip and flip chip? Talked by Mr. Chung, mentioned by Mr. Chung uh, just now. And here, uh, we, here is a explanation of what is SMD and frown chip and flip chip. We, we can tell from the lab. SMD is like we have a cup and we have to solder that uh, the pad onto the PCB board. And the front chip COB is we're gonna use the, we're gonna fix the LED onto the PCB board and the pad are at the front top. You know what I'm saying? Like the pad are 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 at the top. And there are going to be wire bounding them together to connect them each other. 
the in this way there, there will be no cup, there will be no LED cup, and there will be no welding anymore. So who can tell me how the former chief fixed on the PCB? Do you know what I mean? Say again, Chen. I guess you say the soldering work, the 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 previous. You mean the previous installation um, to put SMD on is the soldering? Is that right? No, no. I mean the front front chip for chip on board. Uh, Mr. Chen is trying to ask how to fix that front chip onto that board. Well, I'm guessing you don't solder then. Solder? No, not by solder. Oh. Yeah, not by solder. It's by glue, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the glue. Yeah, the yeah. The, the first thing they use a very small pin to get some glue on the PCB and put the chip on the glue. You you gonna you get the point? Yes. Um, is it bad? Yeah, is it is it better uh, comparing to the uh, well welding? Yeah. So what I mean is, I mean the 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 uh, it it can be fixed uh, better compared to welding the glue if you use the glue. Yeah, for this uh, for uh, for this uh, chip and board technology. Like a leatherman, like a cedar, the red they use a found the chip. First, they use a pin to get some glue on the PCB, and second, they use a machine to catch the found the chip on the PCB, and then put the glue, put the use the weather, or the weather, to so make the glue dry and to fix the chip. And then they make bonding. I mean wire wire bonding. Wire bonding. So this is the technology. But as you know, the chip size is very small. How small? Normally is four by seven mil. Means 0.01 millimeter by 0.15 millimeter. It's a very small size. So by this small size will cause some reliability problem. The advantage, why the red chip they use from the chip? Because they're very cheap. <laughs> very cheap. Yeah. CH EAP, yeah. So, like Ledman, I see that they use technology. technology. Red is they use front chip, blue and blue they use flip chip. So, this is now the chip on board market, yeah. So, so, flip chip is something like we flip the, the front ah, chip. Yeah. Flip it and directly bound them onto the PCB board. There, there are no more wire bonding them together. You're gonna flip it and the pads are on the bottom, right? When, remember the front chip on the top? Flip it, pad on the bottom, and directly, directly put them together to the board. And that is flip chip. No more wiring, no more welding, no more, uh, no more soldering. So. So it's also reducing the thermal resistance. Like there will be heat generated. Because there's no more wiring or solar, right? So second reason why the flip chip RGB we use flip chip. Because for flip chip the whole service, whole top service, top level, top service is lighting. So their lighting arrow is much more bigger. The front chip. It's like the front chip is like point light source. Uh, it's, it's not like point. It, it's more. It's more natural. And the flip chip is more like an area. But we're gonna show you next time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so uh, we're gonna analyze uh, what is the COB's advantages. Physical physical protection first. Because the package is gonna use epoxy to make them merge into one, so it's more like uh, it is pressure and bump resistant. You can you can uh, you can actually uh, count the power. It's like similar to the Apple technology protection capability. And also, 
it is encapsulated directly on the PCB with epoxy, so that's the reason why it is pressure and block resistant. It is smooth and flat. There will be, uh, for SMD, there are cups, right? There are individual cups. And we use masks to protect the cups, to protect the gap, to make them less easy to get fall, falling off the PCB. But the COB, we use epoxy to make like a totally flat and smooth surface. And also, it is impact resistant, like, like pressure resistant. And also, water resistant and moisture resistant. You can easily clean it by the Windex for just pure water. That is something you don't do to the traditional SMD indoor products, right? So, that, that is about the physical and also the reliability and stability. The SMD, the, the, what we are talking about is the expansion coefficient about the, the cup and epoxies are different. When we are doing the soldering or welding, when we are doing the welding uh, under the high temperature conditions, it is very possible to cause the, the cup and the packaging falling off because they are expanding in different levels, in different extents. So resulting in gaps or even gap pixels or pixel failure. But COB, we don't we don't have those cup or uh, wire. We don't have those. So uh, these actually avoid the gaps or the gap pixels caused by the high temperature welding. So it is kind of like more stable and more reliable product than the SMD product. And also you can read the, the letters in red. The failure rate of the LCD, I'm sorry, the LCD video wall is 1.5 per million pixels, which is also called 1.5 ppm. The SMD failure rate is around 30 to 50. It depends on the quality as well. And the COB, the failure rate can be controlled below 1.5 ppm, which is very, very similar to LCD. So we can draw the conclusion that the COB is actually more reliable, more stable or durable than the SMD the traditional LED product. So go back to the topic a bit more durable than the traditional because it is less easy to be damaged because what caused LED damaging is moisture or or the or the punch or hit pressure uh, and the COB can actually water resistant and also pressure resistant. So this is uh, reduce the possibility of being damaged. So which is increase the uh, reliability, reliability and durability. Any more questions? Uh, yes, got one question for you. Just wondering, uh, for the SMD, you mentioned that uh, it's a welding procedure as well. So uh, COB is sort of like uh, uh, glued up. So when there are the failure in the system, you want to re uh, fix this problem. So that means SMD is easy to fix compared to uh, COB, is that right? So as long as they have the failure of the COB, it's uh, normally just replace the whole thing, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we replace the module. Okay, so to repair, I mean, from the repair side, probably SMD is better, is that right? Yeah, you're right, for SMD. Because as I said just now, for cheaper body, the key feature. So even have some pixel of a cheaper board, the flip chip get a failure, the money sent back to the factory, and we have the machine, very high tech machine, to replace. The flip chip, even like green and blue. Well, okay. Of course, you know we have the we have a Japan technology to produce chip chip on board, you know, and also we have a technology to repair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And this is all about the light light surfacing. What SMD does is 
from the uh, you can see from the left side uh, that is the simulation of what SMD lighting condition is, and the COB is actually more uniform and less. You, you can see less peaks out there, which actually causing the uh, tiredness or damage to your eye. Is, it is too sharp, but the COB is with uniformity and contrast ratio and uh, color fidelity is actually better than, uh, I, I won't say that it's better than SFD, COB is better than SFD, I'm saying that COB plus Ebony technology is better than SFD. Yeah, for this uh, I use a very simple language, for SMD it keeps the lighting, but cheap on board that's the service lighting. So for cheaper model, you can get a much more bigger the angle. Yeah, SMD. Any more question? The question is free. The answer is free. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't say anything, because I thought you were going to charge us, Cheng. Ah, crazy. Um, the, I, I may be jumping ahead slightly. So does does COB give the same um, horizontal and vertical viewing angles greater or or less than, yeah. F, than SMD? Yeah. Yeah. Should be better. Wider. Yeah, so for today, the best uh, chairman board screen is uh, Sony, Crystal, or Samsung the world. That's the best too. Blue three. Yeah. 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 The viewing angle of the COB is around 180. It's like you are standing right beside it and you still see the view still see the bigger picture. Horizontally or vertically. But if we compare it with a traditional uh, like LCD, uh, there will be more color shifting issues out there. And also the heat dissipation. Uh, you know, the SMD, we, we have four pads, uh, we have the soldering, we have more wires than the COB, so it actually have more generates more heat than the COB. We just uh, look like this. SMD have a four little frame, four feet. Yeah. Yeah. So the heat dispersing is by the foot. But a flip chip is whole service. So the head size is much more bigger than SMD. Well, the heat dissipate the heat unit for SMD yeah. is the individual cup. So, which means the smaller area will actually concentrate the heat that will actually cause may cause the light attenuation or even dead pixels for a long time use without maintenance, of course, without maintenance. So this will, this might will uh, reduce the lifetime of the SMD chip. But the COB is actually, the, the, the chip is directly bounded on the board. So the heat dissipation area is the whole board, it, which is larger, which has a better heat dissipation capability. Another reason for chip on board. Because the flip chip size is much more bigger than SMD chip size. So we use much smaller current to drive the chip to get better brightness and much lower construction. So that's why the head the head is less. Well, circuit protection, this can achieve the either rated like 5-4. So uh, we, can, we can have a test out here. We can throw one of the demo panel to the office. Okay. And, uh, let's see if we can see that.
Let's, let's do the test. <laughs> that was a very gentle tap, Novian. Very <laughs> good. Even big hammer. You need a <laughs> big, big thumb. See that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, could I ask you a question? This is IP54. Uh, they say the water resistance is a, it's a high IP rating on this. So, uh, what's, the, what's the performance of the water resistance for this one? Splash water or just put it in the water? Yeah, for the modules, it's waterproof. But you know, between the modules, have the, the bezel gap, you see. It is 0.02 millimeter between the modules oh. and the bezel, okay. at a very micro bezel, 0.02 oh. millimeter. Okay. Yeah. So like we, if we want to use a 1 by 2, 1 by 6 as a power screen, so the module we should have the waterproof. Yeah. So, so if there are gaps, don't they, they, they already have the glue to fit in between the gaps, is that right? Something like that, but we don't use glue, we use some rubber shins okay. to, fit, okay. uh, to bend the water key. Yeah. So, so they, based on this technology, we call the IP54. Uh, that means this one can be used for outdoor display as well, is that right? If it's outdoor, it needs to be IP65. Yeah. Yes, IP65 it should be. Um, so that's a different, different altogether. So IP54 obviously means limited ingress. So um, if you want it to be completely outdoor, then you need to be able to have an IP65 rating. Yeah. But this, this, as Cheng's already mentioned, is a product more geared towards um, being in an environment where it could potentially be in a window or or a totem. A totem would be okay. another example. Yeah, like a chair, a totem. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You mean the end of the patio area? Is that right? So probably it's just sort of like a half indoor. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Can I can I ask um, Novian Cheng? Yeah. Does it 
does it mean that with COP that the fine pixel pitch displays become more durable? Because as we know with um, SMD, when you've got fine pixel pitch and you're putting them together, there's a good chance of damage on yeah. the edges. Yeah. All right. So does this mean it's more durable for that um, indoor application? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. When we're doing installation, especially fine pixel vision installation and transfer between USB. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Paul. So, at the market right now for LED, if we segment the market, fine pixel pitch market, the performance of SMD is more stable. Uh, when the pixel pitch is more than 1.2, like like 2.6 or 3.9 or larger, the SMD is more popular. And in the market below 0.6, like like 0 0.4, 0 0.6 or 0.8, something like that, the SMD is not that dominant compared with COB or mini mini or micro LED. So, in other words, between 0.6 to 1.2. It might be the main battlefield of SMB and COB. At present, the COB has just entered the market. And I'm pretty much sure that the COB will be like better and better and the price is gonna drop down. So it might be, it might be dominant in the market below 1.2. Yeah, look at this history, you know. 2014, for example, the 2.5, 2.6 millimeter, the price should be around forty thousand dollar per square meter. But in look today, 2.5, 2.6, the price I think around three thousand dollar, much lower, even ten percent of the, even less than ten percent of the, the price during six years ago. At that time, Triple 5, that pitch is still high technology. And we look today, the chip on board technology will be just a start. As we know, Samsung investors love plenty of money for this technology. Plenty. I think that's their 10 years strategy since today. Okay, so uh, we will have uh, the presentation is done, and uh, if you've got any question you want to ask Mr. Chong, it's a perfect time to ask right now. And also, we have already prepared some questions to ask Mr. Chong as well, so uh, I'll let you guys ask him first. So, so what's, um, so, so hi, hi Mr. Chang, it's Paul here. Um, what's the, what's the deliverables on this? What time, what time scales are you looking at being able to deliver a, say a 1.2 um, COB display? It is available right now. This is a 1.2 COB display right here. So that, so, so if a customer wanted to buy that today, it's 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 ready to ready to ship. Ready to sell. Ready to sell. Yeah. Ready to sell. Okay. Yeah, for a you know, the first we use for like the uh, hundred zero eight inch for meter room, uh, the casing, the shopping mall, yeah, like a standard look of that. Yeah, two K Full HD is one set. For set Full HD, you can look for four K. Oh. Um, um, obviously, yeah, obviously what will drive this will be price. As we know, 2.6 has been a favourite because it's, it's, it's something that you can deliver indoor to the indoor market. And it's at the right price point. So when COB 1.2 gets to the right price point, that's when obviously you'll be able to deliver far greater pieces. 
Mario Kart Ride, but other thing, it's not only it's not only drive by the prize, but also drive by the, the replays or e-car replays. That's the market. Sorry, no, again, there's a lot of background noise. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to. Uh, Miguel, I'm sorry, I have to mute you. Sorry. That's better. There yeah. we go. Okay, could I ask you a question to Chen and uh, Melvin? Sure, Larry, please. Yeah. Now, my simple question, you know, probably to repeat the question from Paul as well. Um, we care about the price. We say they should get the battlefield between uh, the SMD and the COB, um, especially for the large pixel uh, uh, just, uh, display uh, technology in there. So what, what's the future? Is it next to 10 years? The COB is going to be the domain of the whole products in the, it doesn't matter the small uh, pixel or large pixel. Maybe less, less than 10 years. Yes, maybe, I think, uh, you will say a lot of cheaper board, uh, I think, let's see, let's see your ISE. All right, so that, that, that's the uh, very, very simple, very simple answer. As you know, yeah. for packed company, like Nation Star or some other packed company, because they have the gross margin around 40%. First today, price competition, the first day. Second, most of the product from image quality, the costing, key features, spec, really same. So what do we see? How we can see the product? The price by parameter? I reckon most of the time is I mean performance in the and the the price is gonna be the balance, uh, especially for the customer. Uh, I mean nowadays you say the CLB is gonna be a feature definitely in mean, the for, for the future sales. You're looking for uh, for the price drop down. But how how about the how about the timing or technology is coming back? Is there any other potential technology roadmap? I mean, especially for a uh, smaller display. I mean, for example, we investment all of this technology now, maybe after 10 years, or just to get the substantial uh, technologies coming at the meantime. So, I mean, the CLB, is that only only technology uh, roadmap for now, or for the future, we still get the other possibility? I think as in the moment, uh, only chamber board is the right direction. From my information collection, like uh, some LCD panel factory, like TV set factory, they are all can be involved in do research about a chip on board. Even like Apple, they invest a lot of money for the micro LED for the mobile phone. Yeah. So like today, the mobile phone is a big feature around 0.4 millimeter. The Apple. They do the research about 0.28 with the AOD. Because AOD is very stable, high blood So they want to reduce the power consumption of the battery. So that, that means for the macro display, as you mentioned, that like an Apple, the big player, uh, they still focusing on the technology developed on the CLB technology side. Is that right? Yeah, you're right. But is it used for mobile phone? They normally use uh, PCB like ours. They use some ITO glass, you know, like an LCD. But they use okay. different technology. Yeah, yeah. Because for them, yeah. it's only the screen to come out together, to stay together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so you you, you reckon uh, COB definitely will be the good uh, technology to, to be invested in now, especially yeah. for the future as well. Yeah. Even Samsung launched the 75 inch the micro AD TV during the CES last year because they researched by Google. Samsung 75 inch micro AD TV. So that means COB, there's no limitation for the COB technology to do as large or bigger as SMD, is that right? So there's no technology hurdle in there. Sure. Sure. But the CV technology is a very high level, very high level. 
not a single company enthuses the moment. Plus, they will choose, they will solve the uniformity issue, the flatness issue, and the reliability issue. A lot of uh, issues they will solve. No. So the last part, right. most of the screen manufacturing, they have interest and they do some outsourcing from a packed company. Yeah, even not packed company, they have to do some research about how to make the CV model. As we know, yeah. today the price is high. But as you know, any electric product first, price high, but when the volume goes up, the price goes down. Yeah, that, that, that's our main interesting question for everyone in the meeting now is that so which, which stage are we on and uh, for creative LED for your company and uh, you're going to drop down the price quickly or we, we need to wait or no, it's time yeah, now for us to get it in. Yeah, we, we have the meeting, we need help. You get more orders, <laughs> so that way it pushes the supplies to get the cost down. Yeah, sure, sure. Because today we will choose the big size. So for next, we will choose a micro. Maybe next half year, we will choose a okay. micro AD, like 3 by 5 new. So the cost will really be down. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that means uh, nowadays, if a customer wants to get the reasonable performance, I mean, uh, the balance yeah, sure. For example, the today, uh, for cheap and only several players, you know, LG, LG, you know, mass production. Samsung now must protect me now. Sony is, um, doesn't have to protect for less than one millimeter. Yeah. So others, like Leatherman, is they're coming nicely. And Leatherman or Sega, the common performance, performance, they're going to see good at the Samsung or Sony. Yeah. It will be interesting to see the quality of COG because I remember last year at ISC when we looked at Leatherman's COG, although it's not flip chip, the quality was really not good, um, <laughs> and there was a lot of movement within the colours. Um, so it will be interesting to see how well a 1.2 cob performs against a 1.2 SMD with ebony, for example, um, mm. to see how they compare. Yeah, after after the Corona virus, we can fly over to China. I see. Is that, is, that, is, is that an invitation to get me a flight then, Cheng? It's not now, I guess. Cheng's sending, right. sending me a ticket already. That's good. I like that. Positive. Definitely. Uh, that's the <laughs> uh, also, just wondering, Nim, by, by, by saying this performance is good, is there any technical documents you can release from your manufacturing? to say, okay, we do really test it and have some numbers or documents to support this uh, performance. Uh, for sure, yes. We can send you all the documents or specifications you made. Yeah. We have already done that. Yeah. Really, we yeah. 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 It might yeah. be worth, if you haven't, if you've probably, you may have already done it, um, Cheng, but it might be worth getting a, a professional camera and doing some video of the two side by side so that you can see online as to the performance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll have a, another season probably, another online meeting season, season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, and also, I have another specific question for the COP products right now, especially when you just put it in manufacturing. Uh, how much, or uh, what's the percentage of your products uh, now just using the COP technology? Like, like, uh, how much percentage? Yeah. Price wise, comparing with the COB and SMB, right? Yeah, yeah. The price is a private security. We can see it by mail or by this group meeting. <laughs> it's just roughly ID, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, the moment the uh, chip about the flip chip, yeah, because the flip chip, actually, the flip chip size is used for light to the wide, that's for auto AD chip. So, that today, the price is higher, the component price is higher than SPD. Yeah. 
but uh, normally we take you half a percent, you know, but not like double, yeah, a little bit high. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. We want this with mass production to push the cost down, you know, to reach the, the cost of the S and D. Mr. Chancellor said, "Not double." It means it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's a competitable, should be should be a great idea to push it up to the customer. You know, uh, it really depends on, on the price sometimes. You know. <laughs> Can I, Good, thanks. Can I, can I ask Mr. Cheng, um, so COB, will that lend itself to you be able, being able to approach the the uh, the market for TV broadcast, things like that? Does it does it increase the options there or over SM over SMD? Yeah, depends depend on the sales ability. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, there's certain things, obviously. The right price? Yeah, of course. Well, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not about right price. It's, it's, it's about, you know, obviously, the big issue with, with broadcast is the moray effect. Yeah. And looking through, looking through, looking through a, looking through a camera, um, as that pans around from left to right or whatever, you will you will see that more effect. Um, and different different SMDs or micro LED deal with it differently. And some there's software and some of it within the hardware. So it's it would be interesting to know whether or not CreateLED's Cobb product lends itself better to the broadcast market because of the reduced anti more effect than the SMD product does. Yeah, definitely. If you compare with, uh, for example, 1.6 SMD and 1.6 chip on board, you know, chip on 1.6 chip on board, the more effect is much, much less than SMD. You know why? Because for camera, the CMOS is a pixel matrix. For everything, there was a matrix. With the two matrix to fix together, you will see the more effect. We do the test, so it will be much more less, much more less. We can't say it's anti more That's when the camera is still rooming, 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 the pixel, because they have some more effect. But at that time, you know, the camera will be very, very close to this screen. Then next year's ISE, can I suggest we get a professional camera on tripod and then you can test that. People can see how good a quality the, the display is. I guess post meeting is uh, we need to get the demo. It doesn't matter where we put it on. We need to have the uh, to, to see the the performance. Uh, at the meantime, I have another question uh, specifically for this one as well. Um, for COB, for for uh, you say this technology uh, compared to the SMD, uh, you say that's uh, more reliable. Uh, th this this means. Uh, Less uh, maintenance cost, is that right? Or yeah. they? I would say it's less likely to be damaged, so there will be no no maintenance in time. This yeah, that, that, that's my question. For the lifetime, is there any numbers you can provide? It? For example, CLB will last maybe uh, ten thousand hours compared to SMD, probably eight eighty thousand hours. I mean, is there any numbers will be there? 
course, uh, Sebi Lifetime in the Maj Malanga. Maj Malanga. Uh, any specification um, on that? So we can we can provide the number and we can provide the light attenuation rate between the difference between SMD and COB. Like yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's a reason. I mean, from from the customer side, I, I reckon if we can have these numbers, we'll be more confident about to to, to push up these products. It doesn't matter the price is a bit higher, yeah, because we can last a bit longer and also have the less failure rates in there. That's a problem, the big point we make it to the customer. Yeah, yeah I think an easy candidate test. The first thing is basically just the top of the water and the module, firm. Yeah. Oh, do you have this with you? I mean, we can see that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's good. And also for uh, for this one, I mean, I'm talking about the high technology of the display. For example, 4K display, maybe that's a no nowadays with the actual uh, clear or high definition display. I mean, for the future display. So you reckon the COB will, will be better to adapt to the, the new technology of the high HD display or, I mean, or SMD? I, I don't know, I mean, which one will be better in the future. It will be better, for sure it's going to be COD. Yeah, common performance is better. Yeah. Reliability or better? Yeah, so... Um, that's <coughs> <awesome. coughs> yeah. Because for SME manufacturing, it's a huge quantity. That's why we drive the first time. Yeah, but also, it's going to be quality. Uh, question. Uh, what would be the warranty of the COP? The warranty? Three years. Three years, three years. Yeah. Okay, extend the warranty. Yeah. So, SMD, okay, that's good. so initial is three years. <laughs> yeah, the standard SMD is a two years, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, for COB, it's three years. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, could I ask you a little bit question? I mean, one simple question. Is any is any disadvantage of a COB now? <laughs> the price is very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know Samsung price, right? You know Sony in the price. Yeah. Because 
Because uh, the advantage for us, this advantage is now is the cost. The cost is rating from the PCB. Because as you know, the PCB, the part size quantity, they need very, very high accuracy. This is the chip size so small. Like SMB, like Tintin, right? One minute by one minute. But for flip chip, the part size should be 2 mil by 4 mil. Very small. So that's why for the PCB, the quality request very high. So that's why cost is very high in the moment. And need the volume, need the volume. So that means you need to get the good robots to do the job. Yeah, we have a high speed machine. I think uh, let me show you the video. Yes, indeed. Very high speed, very high speed machine, very high accuracy, and uh, also very accurate. Yeah. The price of the machine, the price I think is uh, much more higher than Benz S five hundred. Who, who is the provider for this machine? Is it in China or some some of the countries in the, in the world? Yeah, it's in China. Yeah, very lucky machine. Because at the moment, only Samsung has a big volume. Even Sony is not a big volume. Yeah. Right, good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Next question is. Uh, what is the production capacity of the COB right now? So far, for Chapa Bot, we like to, for example, like two keys, like 180 inch. Yeah, we need a 10 days of two keys. Yeah, in the moment. But if we get more water, yeah, we can buy, we invest more machine to shorten the different time. My next question is, what is the trend of the small pixel page like AV industry after this pandemic, after this virus outbreak? After the virus, I will tell you. <laughs> yeah, actually, for the AV industry, I I always believe the fun pack feature they are coming, but not right now. Because for like for one point six. Chapa boat, for us, it's easy for, good for rental, good for every industry. But the content, that's a very challenging. You know? For screen, it's easy to get the 8K, 12K, or even 60K. But the media server, and the worst content, is very challenging. So, every industry, I still think, uh, like, uh, 256 around, still have a big market. But for me to room, for command room, for some, Advertisement market, billboard market, that feature will come soon. Yeah. Because of the price down. Yeah. And also, I received the question is Will COB only be available without Ebony surface? Yeah. No. Ebony chip on bottom. Chip on we put the chip on the PC and we put Ebony technology. You understand? So that's why we call it chip on bottom. Plus Ebony. Because of uh, Chipper Board, we use uh, several applications. Like uh, Flow Screen, we need Ebony more strong, more robust. Yeah, for standard screen, no need that is very strong Ebony. Yeah. So actually, uh, when you're doing the COB, the cop along, uh, only doing the COB, the grayscale might be a problem. And the contrast ratio might not be as good as uh, the normal. So that reason we, why we applied Ebony technology on, on the surface to uh, enhance, to increase the contrast ratio and the uh, video quality. Yeah. So that's the reason why we combine those technologies together. Yeah, Ebony we call it covered technology, completely body technology, we call it Ebony. Package and... Uh, Moldy. 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 Uh, so, are there any other questions, guys? No, it's three times. Yeah. Three times. Um, yeah. Yes, for me, this is Bashar from Dubai. I'm uh, joining you. 
I would like just to thank you so much for this session and uh, all the best and uh, of course you are staying safe nowadays. But uh, just for other guys who, was, who were asking about the quality, I've been in Las Vegas last January and we saw your products. Actually, I know the company more than two years. And uh, such company, which is a stable and well-established company, we have the full confidence to work with you guys. This is first thing. Second thing, the quality and uh, the quality of your products were really amazing. I'm talking about the, for the flooring, touch and non-touch, plus the wall screens and the amazing which was the magic cube uh, it is really really fantastic product and um, i don't know i know the virus like uh, shut down uh, many resources over there but uh, i can proudly say my it will open new opportunities for all of us you know because you know world is coming like digitally and this will proceed in a very quick way to go for digital as well. You know, and no more uh, projectors nowadays and no more like uh, video walls as well. So with LED, it was going, but slowly. Now I think it will go like faster and faster. So for the quality, I have full confidence about the product and uh, about the support. I'm uh, in touch with, uh, with Romilly your colleague she's a very supportive person and their, uh, your response guys are really very uh, much appreciated thank you sir thank you for your work yeah you. Well, yeah uh, thank you for, for all of you as well uh, thank you speaking for the prices yes you need to work more about it and you know our matter everywhere is price uh, especially we are in Dubai, we have so many competitors in the market and we can see other also players, you know, because they can give you something and they can deliver something else. But once it comes to code, uh, we, they will make like some troubles here and there. But uh, we tried and we demonstrate your assistance. It's really very, very, very good. So all the best for you and uh, we really appreciate your time and uh, this type of conference is very valuable for us. Thank you very much for attending this one. And we'll definitely work on the time. We'll definitely do the version of this will be the happening. Make sure the bottom goes up. Definitely write it in. And make sure the time is going to go. Yeah, all the best for you guys. What's going on with your guys here? Hope to see you soon. Yeah. And also, uh, that reminds me of another question. Uh, Mr. Sean, how, how can we help our clients with more business opportunities after this? Who can tell me? Yeah. Actually, I think this is a good time to make business. I know that there will be like less opportunities, but from now we are investing because I think we have more time to meet each other, to meet clients and suppliers and to plan. Uh, earlier it was uh, difficult to meet uh, people like you guys because you know you have to travel here and there and take, go to seminars and go to like exhibitions. But now it's, it makes it, uh, I think, easy for us to meet you anytime we need and to meet your also clients, you know, your partners all over the world. So this is a good opportunity for all of us. Plus, uh, I'm thinking about Dubai now. Of course, it's going slowly. I'm not saying like it's completely locked down, but at least even our clients, because you know, my my like major clients are from government, are from big retailers. So all of them are very active right now, just to plan after Corona. We were working on some projects, you know, it was going uh, slowly, but now because, they're as, they, because they have more time to talk to us, so their response is really very high. So we hope, and we hope like Corona will, uh, will not take more, you know, to stop all of our things, but uh, I think it's a time to work together, and hopefully results will be soon after Corona.
Okay. We will check who whom we will hug each other. <laughs> Hi, hi, this is Amran from Singapore. Hi, yeah, uh, basically I think um, I'm invited by Romelin if we, uh, we visited uh, your, your booth uh, both in Infocom and, and ISE Europe. So, uh, do you have, uh, uh, currently we are focusing on Singapore, Malaysia and, and Indonesia at this time. So, uh, well, there are a couple of uh, projects coming up still. So, do you have any use case? Use cases for control room, uh, and uh, doesn't matter what, even though they are using the SD, uh, and, and if, if you can have that use cases also with some price comparison with, with the current uh, COP, that, that will be very, very helpful. Well, you have no problem. We have done a lot of the cases in uh, our first one of control rooms, like we have done several projects in the past few months with the camera. So we've done the camera at the Japanese. Uh, emergency control center. Uh, I'm not sure my test is right now, but it's just like a control room for emergency control center. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I can, I can, I can send those. Uh, base study, base first to running, first to running. Yeah, that 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 would be very helpful. Yeah. So uh, that was a real benefit of my team here. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem. And also the COP, you were talking about COP this session, right? And the COP will be, I do think the COP will be the top, just add more with the next stage for the person. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah. It's just that now it's a matter of uh, waiting for the price to be. Let's start sleeping again. Cool, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. No worries. Okay, and uh, for, uh, I still have to say that for those who missed our previous online meeting, don't worry, we have all the video recorded and also uploaded to the YouTube channel. Please search Create LED on YouTube and you'll find all our previous video recording. We have six online meetings in total for this session, for this season, and we are also preparing for the next season. We are also uh, gathering all the information or question you want to know. Uh, you want to know more about how we do things, how we make those panels, how our public, uh, whatever you want to know, we are also gathering those information and trying to get back to you soon in the next season. Hi guys! Really want to take a video with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chen and uh, no one. And if I get a chance, then take a couple of days with, with you guys. Yeah. Alright? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but by the by the way, well, the last question for for Chen about uh, your uh, manufacturing. Um, we're talking about the the LED parts, especially for the top one. For the COB, do you have any uh, idea about the maintenance uh, job? It will be easy. I mean, like a smart maintenance work or platform can be done. Yeah, we actually we still use magnet, you know. Yeah, maintenance. I mean, even if, for example, in, in any case, the pixel banner, yeah, you send back the body to factory. Yeah, factory can repair. Yeah, we have the luxury maintenance line only for the pre Yeah, that's okay. okay. Any more question? Yeah. Well, uh, I would I would like to appreciate from deepest from our heart that for attending and for joining these meetings uh, we've done this. This is our first time to do this meetings online meeting uh, digital outreach. 
And also, we do think it is a very good uh, condition. It is a very good scenario that we can talk to each other even though we are not beside each other. We're not in the same internet. Uh, if you guys need some technical support or customer service or whatever you want, you can also do some online meeting like this anytime or anywhere you like. Like it is uh, provided another opportunities for us to talk to each other more and more frequently. So I really want to thank you guys for attending this meeting and really looking forward to meeting you guys face to face and shaking your hands. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All the best. Thank you, Novian. Thank you, Mr. Chang, for sharing your knowledge about the COV plus our uh, Black Technology Ebony for us. It would help a lot in the market. Also, thanks to Mr. Chang for Thank you guys. Thank you for sharing your knowledge.